Uh, Hemi Syed, uh, you know, I... Oh, I, you're I, one of the... Uh, the yeah, the, 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 the City Twitter Hall guys. guys. Twitter guys. Yeah, the yeah. Twitter guys. So it's the end of the day, just for a few moments. I know you've, you've had a hell of a week. Uh, just any thoughts, anything uh, that the people, your constituents should know? Well, at this stage of the game, the mayor has a decision to make. Uh, if he is not going to face up to the uh, allegations that are swirling around him, he really... I, I, I'm not comfortable seeing him stay in his position. Uh, so I, uh, my advice to the mayor, uh, my, uh, my wish is that uh, he confronts the issues forthrightly, gives us an explanation of what uh, it's all about, what his role is, what he knows about things, and put everything on a footing to move ahead. In the absence of that, I am uncomfortable with uh, the position that he that he takes. As deputy speaker, you may actually be in a uh, in the position of uh, chairing a meeting, the council meeting that's just about to happen in a few days, uh, with the mayor there. How uncomfortable is that going to be? Uh, well, that, well, that's just the the essential point. Is that there are a lot of questions that swirl around the mayor wherever he goes. It's like a cloud that follows him where where he goes. Uh, the, the work of the council will go on, the work of each individual councillor will go on, but uh, the air would be a lot fresher if uh, the allegations that are uh, on record now uh, had some, some uh, response from the mayor uh, apart from the position that he's taken so far. Thank you, Councillor Parker. Councillor Parker and Deputy Speaker.